The writer Dermot Healy, who has died at the age of 66, never won any of the big major literary awards. Not that that matters, certainly not for many of the readers who appreciated what he said about the state of Ireland and particularly the part of Ireland where he ended up. He, he was born in Westmeath, ended up uh, living in Ballyconnell in County Sligo. I was just looking at when he was nominated for the Impact Award a few years ago. Didn't get it, uh, but there are some librarians' comments which uh, sum him up pretty well, I think, uh, on what they thought of his uh, most recent and unfortunately last novel, Last a Long Time no see. One librarian said it was a wonderfully funny novel of cross-generation relationships in lyrical lilting prose. And another said it was an epic novel, its glorification of rural Ireland simultaneously a requiem for it. Well, somebody who knows both the man and his work uh, and from the same part, a writer from the same part of Ireland, roughly speaking, is on the line now. Michael Harding, uh, a friend, I think, of um, uh, Dermot Healy. Good morning. Good morning, Cahill. What do you make of the man and the writer? Well, firstly, I'm just shocked that uh, that he's passed away, and uh, I know that his um, his wife Helen and Einar and Alan and everybody in the family who loved him will be just devastated. What I made of him as a writer, he he influenced me. He was the first person who brought me into writing in a serious way when I was young. And I think that he was a huge giant in Irish literature in the same way that Joyce was a huge giant. I mean, Joyce wasn't hugely known in a populist way when he was finishing his books, and neither is Healy. But what Healy did was that he followed on a tradition that goes back to people like Liam O'Flaherty. He imbued nature, not just human beings, but the nature around them and the animals around them with a sense of sacramentality that was kind of stunningly present. And in that sense, he was unruly. He was an unruly man in the way that he loved people, and he was unruly in the way that he made sentences. And one sentence followed another in the ways that were unexpected, that no other Irish writer is able in our generation to imitate or follow. Because we kind of live at a time where writing, there's too much writing is done by numbers, and there are too many novels that are kind of almost controlled by editors for international markets. And you get cliches of conflict and cliches of story arcs and backstories and all this sort of stuff. But Healy went far deeper that into the tradition. He went back to the unruliness of Art McCooey as a poet and Cahill Bui McGullagunna as a poet. He found the magic in words and the subversiveness of words. And he recognized the kind of sacramental presence of nature in the way that Willie Mike, Liam O'Flaherty did. I remember there's a story about Willie Mike going over to the Aran Islands one time and he saw a stone and he kicked the stone and he said, Anniam who? I know you as human or I know you as personal rather than just I know you as a thing. And that's really what Healy did. He knew the world around him, not just as things, but as people, as animals and kind of as some great loving natural presence of the cosmos. And your use of the words unruly and subversive, I think, puts them in, in that category, that great category of Irish writing of people who, who's, who, when a story begins, you don't know where it'll end, who'll come into it, what they'll do, which is true of all writers, yes, obviously, but absolutely. in Ireland particularly, and the language you use uh, applies. Yes, absolutely. And, and he was razor sharp in his support of other writers when they did that. I remember for years, you know, when I was young, and he was a bit older than me, but I'd be trying to write, and trying to write the right way. And once or twice, accidentally, you would hit the right note of kind of just unruly passion from yourself. As Ezra Pound says, you know, that, that poetry is the truth spoken with passion. And once or twice, you'd get a few sentences, and Healy, Dermot Healy was the one who would mark it and celebrate it. And, and, and show you, yes, you're on the right road, you know. It's no accident, I think, that Shea Matini used to say that he, he was an enormous poet as well in the world. Well, thank you very much, Michael, for giving us a sense of both the man and the writer, and I think encouraging some people who haven't read him uh, to try him out. But he is a very sad loss, and uh, it's unfortunate news we have to bring that uh, Dermot Healy, at the age of 66, has died. Michael Harding, thank you very much. It's a minute and a half to nine. <laughs> 